Bracken is no slouch. And for those tuning in with us now, we're back in the best of three territory for this losing side, so pressure's on for these two. All right, yep, here we are now. This matchup is one we've seen many times here at Encore, uh, especially, you know, with Jen rocking the Palatina. He is no stranger to this matchup, but Miles has been giving him the runaround for weeks. I don't know if Jen has managed to take a set. Maybe in recent weeks they've... Possibly, but this is the sort of thing where Miles just, according to recent lore, Miles should be winning this, but as we're seeing, not really the case. Jen is on fire. You know, Jen's been playing really well today, and I know as of late, he's been very heavily on the grind himself, getting himself back into the mix. And unlike a lot of other like high-level players in New York who've been dabbling around with other characters, he's staying to the tried and true Palutena. And at the very least, on paper, this has been a renowned bad matchup for Yoshi, as I'm sure you can attest to. But because of that, there's been plenty of effort into that anti meta, and Miles has been one of the players who's been forwarding, finding the answers to those questions on how Yoshi survives and thrives against the likes of Power. Yeah, I mean, the fact that she doesn't have consistent kill throws, or like, you know, kill setups into, uh, or throw into kill setup is huge, because as we're seeing, 143%, and Jen is still kind of struggling to actually find a way to end the stock. This up air pressure on the platform is looking nice, but not actually finding its mark. And so Miles now with some stage control might be able to take it right here. No invincibility. Woo! Beautiful recovery. Oh, but no. That's, that's awesome. the amount of uh, the coverage that Miles had right there. And now with the stock lead, this is Yoshi with Rage. Uh, and Yoshi's low percent combos work really nicely, even with Rage. It shouldn't be too much effort for Miles to extend this lead. And playing passively is just the way to secure that passive victory. <laughs> plays passively and then runs in for a down air. Uh, which is, I mean, like, the, the, the function for down air in neutral is basically, especially if you think your opponent's about to spot dodge or roll. Or go for a late aerial like that, dude. It's high risk, high reward because you get it. That's a ton of damage. And then you're either extending that into a combo or really good positioning. Yeah, well, it's like medium risk, high reward. But, like, the, the, the issue with it is that it oftentimes is sort of, it covers an option that Yoshi wants to be doing that is low risk. Yeah, but look at this snowballing oh. out of control now. It's 104 and counting builds up on Jen. We got <laughs> the back door for positioning. Yes, sir. Neutral tries to go for the two frame, but a nice delay from Zen. Keeps him alive and beautiful Ooh. spacing. Just a back flipping right past that up smash. Oh, but it gets taken right back. That up tilt to up air, such a devastating kill confirmed. You see Miles land it all the time, and yet still somehow he always manages to find another one. It's just consistent. Consistency in killing is so important. And I feel like it's almost disrespectful to bring up that notion with these two characters on, on the screen setup because that's what Palutena lacks now. She can contest any character, any playstyle in neutral. But when it comes down to those higher percentages, that crucial point of finding your hit to kill or your grab to throw is so hard, but Jen stays in the mix. Right there, the thing is she still has those kill moves. And if you're able to pilot it, if you have the cognizance to really set yourself up for it, she can still kill disgustingly early with good stage positioning as we saw right there. Beautiful air dodge that would have killed if that had landed. Yeah, no, that's devastating. But at the same time, fairly even game. This is coming off of a pretty heavy deficit that Jen was sitting in this entire game. He's slowly been stealing this back and almost managing to take the whole game with that down air. Yeah, but that sort of is a, a little bit of a sign that maybe don't overextend if you're Miles. Don't go off stage in ways you don't need to because Jen will capitalize on that slightest mistake. Being put off stage once more, breaks his armor, doesn't just DI away. That's actually so scary for Miles. As now we have a neck and neck and percent, both of them sitting in the red here with a little bit of stage control. It's a scramble right now. You know, this is looking a little messy, but that back air almost getting it done. A little bit of suspect DI, but these eggs have plenty of lift and coming back aggressive. Really good call for Miles. Oh, putting up all of these hitboxes and then more. That and that up air to get back to stage. So good from Jen. They're both looking for that final hit. This isn't going to be able to do it. But he has to land now against the Palutena. He's going to be able to do it. The back door's not doing it. No, sir. He does a fast fall air dodge earlier. That's such a cheeky little option. And now once more, we're looking at this. That's going to be it. Oh, no. Jen committing to that up till anticipating it's going to catch some sort of aggressive aerial in, which makes sense because that's yes. what Miles has been doing. Here, Miles just 
even spacing, keep it calm, find his opportunity, and he gets the hit. I think it's funny. Miles kind of shook his head when it happened. That's like the head shake you do when your opponent has these or miss inputs. I think, like, you know, if you're in the zone, yeah, you're like, no, 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 no. And then your shake. opponent just kind of throws out this slow standing up tilt. You're like, I guess, sure, just give me the win then, fine. Like, it's not enough to win when it comes to... I feel like a lot of New York players have a lot of respect on each other in this regard. It's not just enough to get the W. They want a good W. They want to look back on that and say, like, yeah, I beat your ass good, not you faltered. They want kills at players on their peak of skill. Regardless, Miles is the game up, then brought us back to Stadium. And I think it's a fine pick because we yeah. saw that... Jens really had no trouble with finding better, safer landings and more controller spins. So I think the stage pick is okay. Then again, I, I'm sure that the flatter stages were banned, but the fact that he could retreat to those platforms, Miles was okay in getting up there. I don't think he got like up there to death once that entire game. And when considering the fact that Yoshi being juggled is kind of one of his weakest disadvantaged states, if that's kind of being taken away from you. Maybe a reconsideration, reconsideration should be in order, but nonetheless, he does opt to go here, and I mean, it's working out okay. Both of them are deep in the red, but Miles takes the first Ooh, stop. Did you see how short that up there was? That was sitting on the ground. And it comes out like frame five. Yeah, no, that's him. really good execution for Miles. That was so good. You saw the way he jumped. Normally Yoshi's would just egg immediately, but he knew the up smash was coming. Delayed it ever so slightly. Speaking of up smashes, he Jen knew. He yeah. knew what Miles wanted. I mean, the thing is, think about why he wanted it. That was Jen at low percent. A down at low percent can lead to so much damage. It's it's just a beautiful combo. Like the starter, move alone does somewhere between like 28 to 32 percent, and then it leads into more. Okay. That Double jump armor helping get out of some of those really bad low percent combos. But Palutena's, those strong moves like back air, pretty high knockback, meaning that the double jump armor from Yoshi is gonna get snatched away pretty quickly. Yeah, like at this point, he cannot be back air and jumping into back air so freely anymore. A really well placed explosive plane helps tag on the damage further as Jens is trying his best to keep this battle on the ledge. I love that. Trying to go for it, even though it was in center stage, so it's not killing, Ooh. it's more secure damage. Oh, <laughs> looking for an air dodge right there. Very smart from Jen, realizing that Yoshi could not get there in time. And so, just jump away. Don't put yourself in the danger zone. Oh, but he's not out of the danger zone just yet. His leg straps, the sh movement on the ledge. Oh, and he just stays right in his face. But the bravery from Jen keeps his head about him. That dash attack is still not enough to do it, though. That, that one, one will. Yup. All right, now we have Miles. Down to one stock here. It's the sort of thing where he needs to be taking this stock immediately because any low percent combo can lead to all of this damage. 30, 31 percent. That's he should be sweating his dropping like, oh, thank God I didn't take 60. Yeah, no, it definitely could have been much worse, but nonetheless, Miles just needs to make sure that that doesn't tag on too hard. Otherwise, Jen can go into the last stock situation with a breath of relief, but I won't be breathing relief after that one. No, an excellent catch from Miles. And he knew that he was going to those down angles. You know, the, the, the teleports to the ledge to avoid the possibility of getting two frames. Risk of that. He takes a little bit of startup, and he was exploding that. Was that was probably frames away, but the forward air landing means that he's now able to bring this to a last stock situation. But, ooh, he's kind of on the back foot in a way that Jen is not. Look at that. 107% already on his body, whereas Jen is just sitting comfortable, throwing him without a care ooh. in the world. What's up for the Yoshi armor? Not going to kill Miles just yet. In fact, he's hanging on his own damage after that near death experience. That was also such a good reaction. Got a forward air trip into the down for damage. And now he's putting him off stage, oh. going super duper deep. Oh, he did not. I don't think he wanted that. I think he wanted the reverse. Yeah. It's going to cost like him. Salty, we're going into game three. Oh, man. This oh, is TV wild. All right. Yeah, Miles kind of shaking his head, being a little bit disappointed with himself. But like, Jen's been playing so well tonight. After getting that upset on John Numbers, his play's just been. Kissy, kissy. 
But we're moving now into uh, game three. These two, it's been back and forth. And now it's culminated all here. Once more on PS2. This has been the stage for the entire battle. And ooh, ooh, going up and nowhere but for Miles. And those down there, we were talking about how they were not working out for Miles in game two. But this time around, he's mounted like three of them already. Great move to Lair, though, to get out of the pressure. You know, Jen finding his ways to clap back and got on him for it because I feel like both players have exhibited really solid play through games one and two. And the fact that we're just staying to stadium, it's really just a more of a test of metal at this point. So finding who's going to be like more clutch as we get back into that high tension situation is really what this set is proven. The combo games of the key, the decision making in neutral has been phenomenal, especially for Miles. But we've also seen this set rubber band back and forth. No one able to hold on to a significant lead. Okay. <laughs> and that might continue to be true. He eats another one of those and oh, armor breaks it. Cash gets him back down to the ground. What are they feeding these Yoshis up here? High fiber samosas. <laughs> Okay, yeah, again, goes for that down there. The, the, I mean, the reward of catching my, of catching Jen if he was unprepared is like, oh, what big What's that move like with Rage? Uh, down air? Would that have killed? Uh, I would not have been surprised if that had killed. Because keep in mind, just 32% before the last hit. That's stupid. Oh, man. He doesn't Kinda. need down airs killing that 30, though. It's just consistent pressure. Just the damage racking up over time. And 99%. Guys, look at this, at 164, Jen is still struggling to get the kill. There he goes, it's another back air that gets it done. However, that's a lot of damage built up onto Jen. It's on him to try and play this out. I feel like he doesn't even have the luxury of playing Ooh. passively. And an air dodge at the ledge spells disaster for him. Miles is going to be able to take a very heavy sigh of relief as he's got a full stock up. And that's that's even worse than if Miles had just like read his get up into an F smash, you know? <laughs> Ironically enough, if, if he, you had gotten killed by your opponent, it would have been less bad than that SD. Yeah, but man. No, air dodging into the ledge, no, no one ever wants a stock like that. Like, yeah, I get it. At the end of the day, we take those. But like I was saying earlier, like both of these guys, they're trying to get a clean win on each other. Regardless, Jen's still pressing forward ever more. He's building on the damage, plenty easily yeah. two miles. And the fact that he's funneled this match to just being get your counter hits and then play the ledge game is really smart because we've seen when they try to duke it out on the platforms, Miles tends to turn reversals over more than Jen does. Absolutely. And oh, we're seeing a lot more consistent, patient, neutral here. Those down tilts uh, oh, for Miles are such a nice little fading tool. And I love that fading back, making sure that he isn't possibly get punished. And that F smash, I don't think that was the spacing where Jen wanted to be. Oh, doesn't matter. That up smash lasting for forever. The heavenly light takes him to the heavens. And now we have a last duck situation between these two players. All right, pressure's on for Jen to try and pick this up. After a wayward stock lost, he's still managing to find on that percentage. And I feel like the longer Jen is able to extend this battle, I feel like he's going to be in safer position. It's just a matter of getting that damage to reflect his own. Ooh, and a fancy Ooh. little string gonna help do the oh, first set. In? With Ooh. Rage up there managing to do it! Jen clutches it out and takes the 2-1 over Miles! Never sleep on